Hello world. So we're going on Fifth Avenue just under the monorail, which is what just passed. It's that like sci-fi looking train from the 60s. Built for the World's Fair, same time as the Space Needle. And uh, yeah, why not go there? Uh, Seattle Center, just have to turn around here. Fifth Avenue is kind of a weird street because of that monorail. Like sometimes if it's going the other way, it sounds like a big truck coming. Uh, this over here is the world famous Cinerama Theater. Super high tech and the people that work there. Some of the coolest, most awesome people in the world. Trust me. Okay, so there she is, Space Needle. See? That's the uh, the smaller fountain. To the larger one later, and there's the space needle. It's so beautiful. Some music down there. Let's check it out. That is awesome. Literally dancing a jig. That is the Museum of Glass art and stuff, Del Chihuly. I've never been. This is all new. They built this in the last, I don't know, 10 years. It's new to me. It's a mural amphitheater. Conscious there. That to the left is the science center where kids go to learn about science and uh, growing ups go to drop acid and watch laser shows. That is the big fountain. I've been down here on bike rides before where we ride around the inside of it like as a track. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to do that today. Yeah, we were all drunk and it was raining anyways. Today I would, uh, yeah, I'd lose some stuff if I did. And down there is the uh, Mopop. Big bulbous building there. There's the needle again. Some grass. And these bulges here, the one on the right, behind the bus here. Yeah. That one, there's a concert venue in there called the Electric Sky Church. It's pretty cool. It's actually the same company that owns the Cinerama back there, Vulcan. It's one of the founders of Microsoft, Paul Allen, who just passed away a little while ago. It's one of his projects. Designed by the architect Frank Gehry. Skipping forward a little bit, I'm uh, coming out of the CD, going down Jackson Street, and uh, I figure it is a great day for a ride. Have my fun on the bicycle. Have a little more grueling fun on the way back to West Seattle. But uh, why not take the motorbike out to Vashon Island? I told you guys last time I was going to go someplace kind of far. Oh, yeah, yeah, you take your time. Go ahead. That's the Link Light Rail train. It goes from downtown to, uh, well, from UW University down to the airport. It's actually the only train line we have. And uh, they're building this construction here because, like, getting stuck behind the train tracks over here, like, they can keep you for, like, by law up to 30 minutes. And they go over regularly, especially the freight train. But that's a commuter train, so it's, like, a lot faster. It's actually the Amtrak. It took me a while to uh, figure it out, but what they're actually building here is an overpass going across. That's what those big pylons are for there. Next stop, Vashon Island.
So, about to get on the bike and go to Vashon Island. And check out that place. It's been a while. Most times we go to Vashon, it's on a bicycle. In fact, I have not been there on a motorcycle yet. <sighs> Ferry's boarding pretty soon here. It's funny, I looked on the webcam and I saw all these cars on the shoulder of the road. I was like, oh, that's the line for the ferry. I better hurry. Which I don't know why, because I'm on a motorcycle. I can go ahead. But uh, I think they're just parked. Yeah, we got some time. Oh, well. So I'll get queued up. I'll get it over there. Thank you. That's a Lincoln Park. Hey, uh, going to Vashon? <laughs> I'm okay to go. And my bus pass from my work covered the trip. Oh, the water's so clear today. Yeah, so a while back there was a whale that uh, washed up dead on the beach right over here. And the whole neighborhood for like two straight weeks stank of rotting whale carcass. And uh, I'm not sure how they got rid of it, but they did. Thank God. Every time I look out to the water, I'm hoping that some orca are gonna come up, you know, breach, jump out of the water, put it on a show for me. Never happens. Three dorsal fins, that's all I've seen so far. Maybe that'll change today. We'll see. Yeah, more motorcycles. It's a ninja with two people on it. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that what you need? You're okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. This trip is so short. It's like less than 15 minutes. So it's like, whoa, that's a nice little Ford. Um, yeah, less than 15 minutes. So it's like hardly enough to get upstairs and do anything. Uh, usually what I do is just go up and sit. Look out the window. So yeah, this is what Washington State Ferry looks like. Pretty clean, spacious, sunroof, and that's Vashon. We will make it there someday, I swear, before sunset. I can't believe it, we saw a pod of porpoises from the boat. That was the craziest thing. Sorry, they're pretty impossible to get a picture of moving so quickly. And uh, I guess I should have had the big camera out. But I did not.
Still, I'm like on cloud nine, I don't even got to see him at all. That so cool. I usually go up that way. I think today I'm gonna go up that way. This is the way you're supposed to go on a bicycle. I usually go up the car way on the bicycle and it sucks. The bicycle way is longer, but it probably sucks less. It is steep, I'll tell you that. Another one of those trikes. So yeah porpoises from the ferry. How cool is that? That's amazing. I loved it. This is already an awesome day. So Vashon Island. It's uh, a lot more rural than Seattle. I mean pretty much you see like as soon as you get off the ferry you go from you know buses and trucks and traffic and everything out to this. Like you know wooden fences and uh, people little orchards and raising rabbits and, you know, God knows what. Um, knew a guy who lived on some land out here, had like two dozen weed plants, I think, more, more than that, growing out in the open. And from what I hear, that's a pretty common thing, especially these days of the day, the weed is uh, legalized got to be all kinds of weed farming going on. And we are going to take this little offshoot right here and go in a loop. I knew this was going to be fun because I've ridden this highway a lot, this road a lot on the bicycle. It's a nice 25 mile loop around. Um, and I just thought about it and I was like, yeah, all those twisty turns, you know. It could be kind of hard to get myself in the saddle on the bike and go ride it, you know, because it's, it's a lot of effort. I love it, but, you know, I got to get off my ass on the motorcycle. No problem, I'll go. See, I know there's some bumps like those, yep. I remember this. And it goes down to another turn at the bottom of the hill, yep, yep. Bumps. Yeah, this is fun. I guess I should probably take these sunglasses off. It's kind of tricky because I know the trees are so dark and then uh, when there's a break in the trees you got the sun coming from right on the horizon because it's almost sunset. Also I can text my girlfriend about the porpoises. She just loves porpoises. She loves orca. She's going on about orca so much and just like geez yeah we'll get to see some orca someday. Calm down. So she's going to be so jealous. So Vashon being mostly rural, 
also become like prime real estate, especially in the last couple decades. And uh, there's kind of a mix of, uh, you know, farming, like agriculture, rural Americans, like blue collar, plus the uh, people moving in who are like wealthier people who work in Seattle, commute every day. Um, for a long time, a lot of people that were attracted out here, that weren't farmers, were more kind of like beatnik, like hippie types. And um, that kind of like set the stage for like that's, you know, the bumper stickers saying uh, keep Vash on weird. Kind of like Austin, Texas, they say keep Austin weird. So it's kind of like that. There we go. I'm just gonna pull over for a second here. So that is uh, Colville's Passage. That is where people see the orcas. Do you see them? I don't see them. Not yet. What I've been told before by a guy who lives out on Orcas Island tells me that um, if you want to see orcas, what you do is you come like in June or July and find a spot near the water looking at the Harrow Strait. So the Harrow Strait is the other one. Just like here, they pick the straits, the uh, passages with uh, fewer like ship traffic and all that because it's quieter, you know, it makes a lot of sense. So he says you just pull up some lawn chairs and just sit there and just wait and you'll eventually see them. So. Not quite the day for that, I guess. But can at least look at the pretty views. We're looking, this is directly the opposite way from Seattle. Cove Walk Southwest. I want to check that out. It's probably just like one person's house at the bottom of the hill. Like, who are you? What are you doing here? Well, sir, I'm doing a vlog. Co apartments. Interesting. They rent an apartment down here. Oh, that was the Cove Walk. I saw them. Definitely rather see a deer than feel a deer. It's pretty a lot of time we'll go around a corner going up a hill like this. And I'll think back to when I was on a bike and I was just like, oh my god, this is where the suffering happened. This was the suffering. <laughs> this was the false crest. And they were like, no, there's more. Now I'm just kind of sitting here twisting the throttle. Of course, I'm not getting any exercise and I'm going to have to be on the rowing machine for an hour after I get home, but 
right now I'm having fun. Guess that scooter got retired and turned into a mailbox. Either that or that's how they get the mail to the house. Two down, bro. Yep. So what do, you, like, what do you say to somebody who's on a on a trike? You give them three, three down. If they're on a unicycle, you just like go to that, like point towards the ground. One is that confusing to them? Like if you try to go one down, bro, to go on a unicycle, they probably think you're trying to tell them they drop something or whatever. You probably make them crash. So I guess it's just motorcycles. So, you know, I try to do that to people on scooters, they never get it. I don't know, I've had one person on a scooter so far do that to me. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, I do like it though. It's two down, you save. Yeah, kinda, yeah. I hate it when they like, when I don't catch them in time, if somebody's giving me that two down sign. And I see him too late, and so it looks like I just like brush him off. Didn't mean it that way, man. See? Two down. Should I do it to them? Two down? Let's try it. Two down. Now they're like, what? I mean, for real, like, we got two wheels, they got two wheels, but on a bicycle, you're at risk, motorcycle, you're at risk, right? There should be some kind of affinity there, right? Cyclists, like, what do we do? We, we just wave. We wave at each other, that's all. I guess that's not cool enough for motorcyclists, we gotta have a sign. We're gonna throw shapes. So I got in line for the ferry, motorcycle, so yeah, first in line. But there's no ferry, and I'm not sure when it's coming. So, I'm going to leave it off here. But yeah, nice little trip around Vashon. Saw some fun stuff. Did not hit a deer. Not knowing when the ferry is going to show up, I think I'm just going to leave you with this beautiful sunset. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.